Someone give me a thumbs up if my screen is visible. Thank you. All right, uh, it's a full hour here, so I'm gonna get started. Hi everyone, welcome to the group conversation with the distribution team. I'll be your host for today. Um, and we'll go through a couple of topics. Um, first, we are going to go uh, through the team. Um, we keep updating the distribution team handbook, so uh, I would really urge you to uh, check out um, our handbook and uh, understand a bit uh, better on what our mission and vision is and uh, how we actually work. Um, but I want to say uh, uh, welcome to uh, Robert Marshall, who joined us all the way back in August. Um, the only reason why we are uh, updating this now is our last FGU was in July. Um, we, Robert is already hit, has hit the ground running, so he's already contributing to the team. Um, so he's almost uh, a veteran. Uh, we do have two more open positions to fill. Um, I do have to say that one position uh, is almost filled because we are in the final stages with one candidate. We'll see uh, if that works out, but I'm um, very hopeful. So if you still have uh, people to refer, please check out the uh, open positions and uh, send them our way. Um, let's start talking about uh, accomplishments. Um, we're gonna start with the GitLab Helm chart. And uh, I used the screenshot here from a comment uh, by a user that is thanking quite a lot of uh, uh, our team. Um, but um, Eric has been using our chart throughout uh, beta and uh, I think uh, it just shows how great it is to have a community out there trying out your things, uh, helping out and Eric was one of the, the, the great uh, users we had that uh, allows us to, to understand better, use patterns of, um, of our users. And we did manage to get our OKR filled with um, our Helm chart, general, general availability, which was announced on the 22nd of uh, September. Um, we do see that the chart uh, usage is growing. Um, if you take a look at the chart, uh, well, the graph below, you'll see that um, practically once we um, announced general availability, um, the usage spiked. Um, it is coinciding, um, like this smaller spike you see here, is coinciding with um, being a launch pa uh, partner at um, Google Next with, um, uh, I forgot how it was called, it was Cheese KE Marketplace. Yes, that was uh, right. And uh, we got some feedback there that we were most deployed uh, partner solution, which was a great validation of uh, what we are doing there. Um, and the, the amount of use we are getting is also being reflected with the um, number of issues that we receive from, uh, from uh, users and customers. And that is actually changing and shaping our uh, future development. Um, I want to highlight a couple of uh, items that we did here. You can find the links there. Um, but um, I think a couple of items worth noting here is um, while we were receiving some feedback on how difficult it is to configure object storage in the chart, um, we decided we are going to um, shift our focus from uh, one item to uh, simplify this uh, setup to, uh, for all of users. And as, a, as an awesome side quest, basically, um, we uh, have a way of announcing uh, deprecations for our users when, uh, when we uh, make a change of something. Um, 
to put this in perspective, in Omnibus GitLab, we only added this um, this year, and the package has existed for four years, five years almost. And with charts, we added that even before the general availability was announced. So um, we did learn from, um, from our experience. Um, we also are trying to uh, stay on top of development in, inside of Kubernetes world. And um, we recognize that one of the items that um, um, the Kubernetes community is uh, using more and more is an operator pattern. And we attempted to use that for our zero downtime uh, automated upgrades. Um, we invested a lot of work into that, and you can check out the, this Friday's demo, uh, which was really great and showed that we are on a good path there. Um, we managed to upgrade uh, GitLab without any downtime, um, and it was a pretty seamless experience. Um, I'm gonna stop periodically when I see a question in the chat. So, um, William says, got feedback, most deployed partner solution for GKE Marketplace. Who was the point person at GitLab that received that feedback? Any metrics to go along with this? So we were in a call with Google. I, when I say we, it was myself, Josh, Eliran, and probably a couple of others, I don't remember right now. Um, and they, uh, they, the Google GCP marketplace uh, folk that uh, was implementing this said, according to their numbers, um, the most deployed partner solution was GitLab after their default installation method. Um, I forgot what it was, something, I, I don't remember, anyway. Um, Metrics that uh, go along with this, uh, they shared this in a call. So at that point, uh, we, we were just happy to receive this feedback. We can follow up and uh, find if there is something to, um, to share further. All right, moving on. Um, on to future plans. Um, we shipped operator and a zero downtime upgrade. Um, just last week, but uh, we did find a couple of uh, items that are worth uh, following up on before we decide whether we're going to enable this by default for everyone. Um, one item that we found is that in certain edge cases, um, migration can start um, failing and then spinning new migrations and they can exponentially grow and um, stop your cluster from responding. And we want to address that before we enable it for everyone. Um, we also are receiving a lot of feedback about the documentation. And as you would expect, documentation is very um, simple. We tried to um, um, document everything as we went along, but obviously we had domain knowledge uh, on uh, how we uh, operate GitLab. So quite a lot of questions are popping up. Um, one thing that we are focusing on at this moment is getting uh, Amazon EKS installation in order. Uh, first of all, we have no documentation that is um, easy to use, um, and Robert Marshall is actually working on that right now. Um, and in parallel, uh, we are trying to handle the similar situation for OpenShift, uh, because we know this is um, a platform that, is, that, that will see a high level of usage of GitLab. Um, as I mentioned earlier, upgrade is currently very rudimentary. Um, it is with downtime, um, but the bigger problem here is that users are not used to doing it. So um, even our basic documentation there needs uh, an upgrade, even with the current situation. Um, we, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we worked on the GKE marketplace, um, but the GKE marketplace is evolving itself. Um, so we now need to update uh, our tooling to, to match what they are working on. Um, and we have some great collaboration between us and Google there, and um, we, we are going to put in some efforts to um, get that streamlined so that we don't lag behind with releases there. I'm going to move on to our uh, next project, Omnibus GitLab. Um, I know that it's 10 minutes, 
past. So uh, I'm going to keep talking until someone interrupts me in the group chat because this is a discussion. Um, and I'm going to talk about Omnibus GitLab at the moment. Uh, due to our push for getting uh, Helm charts uh, to GA, um, we kind of put Omnibus GitLab on um, um, maintenance mode, basically, but um, we still managed to do a couple of things. Uh, first of all, um, the, the item that I think is uh, really important here is speeding up package builds that we constantly work on, but through that work, we realize that we have a similar problem in our charts, building uh, our uh, Docker images. So uh, we are working in parallel um, on both Omnibus and the charts. And with that, we are um, also um, going to uh, make sure that the assets that we build between Omnibus and the charts or the Docker images are reused. So we shave um, quite a lot of number of minutes uh, between different projects. And we're, we are noticing that there is a lot of knowledge between Omnibus, and, and, uh, Omnibus GitLab and the charts that we can just reuse and streamline um, um, in, uh, in one location instead of having it being repeated across uh, two projects um, that are similar, um, not completely the same, but not that different uh, after all. Um, I also want to cover the collaboration that we um, are doing constantly with other teams. So cross-team co collaboration with quality, Gitali, and database teams. Um, whenever we find something worth uh, improving, we try to help out. And um, I think like one of the biggest things um, I, I believe uh, is the getting review apps uh, for whole of GitLab in both CE and EE. This is quality's OKR, but um, because they are going to be using uh, distributions artifacts, it is uh, crucial for us to get that early feedback as soon as possible. Uh, Remy is doing amazing work there. Um, I also have to call out uh, um, the distribution team for, uh, for pitching in and helping out. Um, this is the same case with, uh, with Gitali in the database. You can see the links there on um, uh, what we are working on and what we worked on. And this is a bonus slide that came in late. Um, we are working on building up our knowledge base further. So we are starting back our distribution team training sessions. And we are starting today with uh, Let's Encrypt in the Omnibus GitLab package. And the training is going to be uh, held after the company uh, call. You can find the uh, invite inside of the GitLab team meetings agenda, uh, calendar, sorry. And you can join us if you want to. Um, Meetings are recorded, so and they'll be shared on YouTube, uh, so you can watch it later. And you can find an issue that shows uh, the future trainings that we are going to do. And that brings me to the end. Um, are there any additional questions? All right, no one is speaking up, no one is writing. So I uh, hope you have a great rest of the day. Marin, uh, good, see a good question before, before yes. we wrap up. Here's David. Um, in terms of the training sessions, um, do you think there's something that might be worth um, promoting uh, more for uh, outside, uh, well, in, outside of the company, as in community members uh, watching them and participating in them? Um, I don't see why not, um, because this training is public, it's on YouTube, it's on our handbook page, anyone can find it and view it. Um, if the content is interesting, I don't see why not. Cool, thank you. Thanks for speaking up. No worries. All right, with that, I'm going to end the call. Thank you very much for joining and uh, have a great day, everyone.